Hello there. Uh, I'm Bishop John Davis, the former Archbishop of Wales, more importantly, a trustee of Housing Justice. We're on the verge of the season of Lent, and one of the Bible readings very often associated and often read at services at the beginning of Lent deals with Jesus being tempted in the wilderness before he began his public ministry. We're told he spent 40 days and 40 nights in the wilderness. So alone, um, we are told that he lived among the wild beasts. So we are in a position of reflecting on him as being, uh, as I say, alone, um, vulnerable, possibly even in danger. We're also told in the biblical stories that angels came and ministered to him, uh, whatever that may mean. Uh, it's a lovely image of Jesus being cared for in his vulnerability. Housing justice on a daily basis deals with people who, through no fault of their own, are often alone, uh, in danger sometimes, and vulnerable. Sometimes people who, as refugees, have been granted asylum in our country, but who are being evicted or are in danger of being evicted from home office um, accommodation. And that leaves them, as I've already indicated, very vulnerable, possibly spending uh, days and nights on the streets, nowhere warm or secure or safe to stay. Uh, the refugee lodging scheme, which Housing Justice is advancing, is aimed at dealing with some of these people. But I want to go back to thinking about angels and how they cared for Jesus in his loneliness, in his vulnerability and in his danger. And I wonder whether you've got the capacity to become an angel. An angel who, through supporting housing justice, helps some of the people that I've been talking about. We can too easily take for granted our secure homes, our, our warm places to sleep. But time to reflect during Lent, perhaps, on those who are less fortunate. Time to think about being an angel to people in need. Let me encourage you to think hard about that. Uh, not only think about it, but perhaps do something about it by supporting housing justice. Thank you very much indeed for listening, and I hope that um, what I've had to say to you will touch a chord. Thank you and God bless.